cutting edge of life science. TV, the cutting edge of television, the cutting edge of earth science. It seems to be the lot of some researchers to spend their time in the most glamorous of locations. I had friends at university who spent their time diving in the Red Sea. They told me they were studying coral, but it seemed to me like a pretty good way of spending their final year. Others, though, have slightly less impressive locations. Witness the researchers in this next film. A Welsh peat bog. I know it sounds boring, but this story will blow you away. Wetlands cover just 3% of the globe. They act as a trap, locking up more carbon dioxide than exists in our planet's entire atmosphere. They form a thick plant matter blanket called peat that's only partially decayed and 740 gigatons of carbon are locked up in this way. Wetlands form by a spectacular failure in decomposition, the process we take for granted in every other ecosystem. Okay, I'm just going to take a sample of water so that we can have a look at the pH. Over thousands of years, wetlands have soaked up more carbon dioxide than they have ever released. But British researchers are worried that climate change could free huge quantities of carbon from this store at a very alarming rate. In just 12 years since roughly 1988, there seems to have been something like a 65% increase in solid organic carbon, and that's a dramatic rise. So we wanted to know really what it was in this peak that was bringing about the changes the things that bring about decomposition are the enzymes in here. And so really we were looking to see whether there was anything that's been going on in the environment that could bring about an increase in the enzyme activity. And there is one thing, and that's global warming. The latest climate models predict that by the end of this century, global temperatures will have increased by a staggering 5.8 degrees Celsius. Okay, so what we have here is a sample of the peat. Uh, it's actually full of enzymes, but those enzymes don't normally do much. Until that is, we warm them up and add air. And when we do that, it's a bit like making a cup of tea. The enzymes start acting on the peat and release those dissolved carbon compounds into the solution. And we've ended up with a very brown solution, very similar to the waters that we've seen out in the river. Well, we do know that the last 10 years have been 0.66 degrees warmer than they were in the previous three decades. So as things get warmer, what we potentially could see in the future is that there could be a lot more droughts. And if we get droughts, it means that uh, the level of water in these wetlands could go down quite substantially. And that will allow more air to get into the soil. The thing about air is that it contains oxygen, and if oxygen gets into contact with the phenol oxidase, the enzyme that breaks down the material in here, you'll get a very dramatic reaction. All of the dissolved organic carbon leaking out into our rivers and streams. It's actually amazing to see all of this foam down here. I mean, that is really there because of all the dissolved organic carbon that's present in the water. Getting a bit like uh, the detergents in a washing powder in a way and to create the bubbling effect that you can see there. So all of that brown material that we saw being released into the river has actually worked its way down through the river system to where we are now, which is in Carnarvon, right at the mouth where the river empties out into the sea. So as all that dissolved organic carbon gets out here to the sea, the marine bacteria can then move in and attack it, converting it into carbon dioxide. And because carbon dioxide's a greenhouse gas, it's a bit like triggering a vicious circle. We've got more carbon dioxide producing more warming, and that in turn produces more carbon dioxide. 
So what we're really seeing here is like the opening of a latch mechanism, a delicate latch that's holding in place an enormous carbon store that's as big as the carbon dioxide that's locked up in our entire atmosphere. Monitoring the next stage of the process is complex and in this brand new research ship, Chris's ocean scientist colleagues are hot on the dissolved organic carbon case. If the latest warming models are correct, then an extra 70 years of industrial emissions could be released by this process, potentially doubling the carbon content of our atmosphere. A real danger exists in that what we see in our wetlands will fundamentally accelerate climate change. After that, I'm glad that even though the Welsh peat bogs can be cold and windy, at least someone's out there monitoring them. Edge of television, the cutting edge of earth science.